Ring Kings Boxing. I'm up in this thing. Big Q representing the Ring Kings Boxing Nation. Much love to the fam. Appreciate y'all chiming in, chiming in for this episode of Ring Kings Boxing. Please feel free to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. By all means, feel free to share the show on your social media feed. Boots Ennis. Now we know about Boots Ennis matching up and signing with uh, with Eddie Hearn and an opportunity to kind of boost his career a little further. And Boots, man, is obviously the top welterweight not including Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence. Obviously, these guys are looking to move up and wait for Boots Ennis is there to take over the division. Now, let's hear from Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn, man, was in a recent press conference that's currently going on between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia in the weigh-in press conference. Had some interesting commentary to say about the future of Boots Ennis. So let's hear from Eddie Hearn and hear what he had to say as well. Here we go. That was a big signing, one of the best pound-for-pound pound fighters that's out there. Maybe the heir to Terrence Crawford. A multi-fight deal for Boots. We know that it's mandatory. is going to be coming up at some point this summer. But if you could map out a three-fight plan for Boots Ennis over the next year, year and a half, what would it look like? Well, I'll go a four-fight plan. It looks something like this. Cody Crawley, that's the mandatory. Marius Barros, the WBC champion. Stanny Onis, the WBA champion. And then step up and take on Terrence Crawford. I cannot tell you how confident Boots Ennis is about beating Terence Crawford. When I looked in this man's eyes this morning, I said, do you want to fight Crawford? He went, please. He said, I know I'll beat him. You know, he's an outstanding talent. He's coming up shortly uh, in, onto the stage here. And, you know, you're hearing him. That's, that's Boots, not Boots from the crowd. <laughs> and um, sure. I believe sure. okay. this man right here is the absolute future of boxing. But I think he's going to beat everybody. I really do. And I cannot wait to be a part of that journey because you put them up you line them up and he will take them out and um, we're going to build him nicely hopefully in Philadelphia next and then unify the division try and become undisputed at 147 and then step up and take Terence Crawford out that was the best 15 minute build ever. it was it was only 15 minutes all right so there it is man uh, good question by the reporter and Eddie Hearn usually throws a lot of BS around but that time around eddie was spot on man about what he's seen for boots ennis it's basically what eddie hearn is talking about fam as we kind of go into uh boxingrankings.com or co actually it'll show you the welterweight division at 147 and it shows you know that you know those fights that basically what uh hearn is talking about was stay on this is the wba guy um there with Crawford and of course we know Crawford's supposed to be you know kind of move on with him out of the picture Barrios with the WBC stay on this with the WBA um and then of course him beating those guys and then uh moving up to take on Terrence Crawford who has the WBO situation so uh Cody Crowley is the first name he mentioned who is the mandatory uh challenger for Boots Ennis's belt so getting him out of the way his mandatory out of the way and then moving toward unification. And that, Eddie Hearn believes, makes Boots Ennis more attractive in terms of him fighting Terrence Crawford, making that happen. So how fast that happens, I don't know. But right now, they're supposed to be on tap for May the 14th, which is on the undercard as Boots will fight on the Canelo Alvarez's undercard against Cody Crowley is mandatory. So uh, I think I expect um, Boots to take care of business there, but a very interesting fight plan for Eddie Hearn moving forward. No, noticing he has to, he knows Boots is a good fighter, but he has to be able to elevate him to make him more appealing to guys like Terrence Crawford, who's looking at Boots and says, huh, he's all right, but is I gain nothing by fighting him. Well, if he has all the belts and he's challenging you, that is also something to be kind of look at makes things look a, di a little differently and also on the bud crawford tip because this is a boots in this uh report um it's it's smoking we talked about this and shout out to our who that daily.com covered it our articles oscar cabrera and Arthur rooks our writers they talked about the potential matchup with uh with terrence crawford could it be a boot situation when we have saudi arabia get involved want terrence crawford to be involved in boxing over there who would be his fight that's still being worked upon but man shout out to saudi arabia man how they've been getting involved with these fights family a lot of the fights that we've been seeing over the last 
year or two have been largely involved because of Saudi Arabia getting involved, the royal family getting involved over there and building venues and attracting fighters and providing the front money to make this happen. A lot of these fights that we've been seeing and salivating over wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for their involvement. So shout out for them. They've been absolutely wonderful for the sport of boxing and seeing some of some real crucial matchups, man, being put together because before these, this was hit and miss stuff, guys jabbing at each other, not really getting involved, but being that the money's there, the venues there, things are really getting movement. We really started seeing some really good boxing matches, man. So you just enjoy it. All right. With that being said, boots in this next four fights as laid out by Eddie Hearn. And what do you guys think about that? What do you think about Boots Ennis dominating the welterweight division? Put your comments in the section below and let me know how you feel. All right, with that being said, I'm out of here. I'm Big Q representing the Ring Kings Boxing Nation. Shout out and rest in peace to my partner, Eddie Two Mean Johnson. Y'all, please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. By all means, feel free to share the show on your social media feed. And if you're on Twitter, give us a retweet. Shout out to you guys and we'll holler at you next time. Much love and peace.